Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the date time type. So the date time type is a variable type that holds a date and a time. Simple as that. But it holds it in a format where it keeps everything individual so you can pull out individual parts. So you could grab what's the day or the year from the state time. Or for example, what is just the time or what is just the date. So let's take a look at it. So our date time variable type is date time. We create a default one. We're going to get something in this format. So it's like a string, but it holds things in a specific value, kind of like a ISO string where it references the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, the second, and then the millisecond. However, it has to be in a valid format. It has to be above the minimum value, below the maximum value, and it cannot roll over. So for example, a date time with 60 minutes is invalid because 60 can never really exist in a valid date because that rolls over to the next hour, for example. So let's take a look at this. We're going to run this with our default make date time of nothing. We're going to go out as an add date time into our text and then we'll hit play. And we're going to get January 1, comma 1, comma 12.00.00 a.m. So that's going to be our minimum date time. We actually have a min value and a max value node you can see here that are going to give you back the minimum and the maximum with the minimum being the value we saw here, January 1st, 1, 1200. And then the max value is actually should be 9999. So December 31st, 9999, 1159, 59 p.m. So those are your minimum and your maximum. Now, if we want to create our own, for example, let's say we thought, okay, well, we saw that was January 1st. I like January 1st, but let's say it's the year 2001. We'll make a date time with that information. We'll hit play. Nope, still invalid. Zero is invalid for a month. Zero is invalid for a day. Zero technically is valid for hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. It uses 24-hour notation with zero being midnight. So we need a month and we need a day. Now, if we were to run this, you'll find we have December 25th, 2001. 12 o'clock midnight. So keep that in mind. And back to the point I brought before, minute, I'll do 60. I'll hit play. That makes an invalid date time. Therefore, we have the default minimum value. Now we have our normal operators. We can see a couple of them here. We have minus, for example, for subtracting. We have addition. We have multiplication. We have equals to, not equals to. But there's something to note here. Even though we have two of these nodes that look identical, and they both say subtraction A minus B, they're not. This one has a date time as A and a date time as B. So we subtract two date times. This one has a date time as A and a time span as B. Time span is a different node type. It contains time. So, for example, if you want to see what's eight hours before now, you might take this one, put in the current date time, and then subtract eight hours in a time span, and it'll give you the valid information. For displaying, we have a few different options. We can do as date time, so it converts it to an invariant time zone and gives you the date and time. It already assumes it's going to be in the correct time zone, so whatever you pass in is the time zone that's going to come out. Or we can adjust it. So when we look at our default value here, we see we have at the end minus 0800. So we're eight hours behind on our time zone. So it knows that when we pass in the value here. So for example, I pass this in. We'll go for output. And this is 2001, 1225. We'll do midnight. We'll hit play. And you notice our output's actually December 24th, 2001, 4 o'clock p.m. That's because I'm telling it to give it to us in Pacific. And this information is going to be 00. zero. Pacific is minus 8. So we're going to take our 12 and minus 8. So if you need to work with time zones or specific time zones, you can use these nodes. So you have your normal as nodes and the as from UTC. We can get the date time. We could get just the date, for example. So this is going to be nice and convenient if we just want the date. We'll go ahead and try to connect this up. Hit play. Here's just our date. Or we could do just the time down here. So we'll hook this one up here. We'll hook this one up here. We'll hit play. And now you notice we'll get just our time. So that's it. That is the basics of the date time. It's really handy to store a date and time. You can 
put it out as a string, for example, and then store it and pull it back in if needed. There are other nodes that are covered in other videos, such as other operations, data nodes, as well as getting information to and from a string.